so we're going to be making Legosomo C. Um, now, what you're going to need for that is you are going to need sunflower lecithin, which you can see I already have it here, vitamin C crystals, a blender, um, either a travel one like this or a regular blender, a mason jar, an ultrasonic cleaner, measuring cups, um, one filled with one cup of distilled water, the other one filled with a half a cup of distilled water, and a plastic straw for stirring. Now, this is measured at three level tablespoons and one level tablespoons because that is based on the weight of the lecithin and the vitamin C crystals that I'm using. This is what it works out to. The, wherever you're maybe sourcing uh, your lecithin and your vitamin C crystals from might actually be different, so you may want to check up on that. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one measuring cup filled with one cup of distilled water. It has to be distilled water, it can't be regular tap water, and pour it in. Then take your half a cup of distilled water, pour it into your mason jar. Set your mason jar aside, that is fine. Screw the tap, screw the, the cap on so that it's secure. And you're gonna to want to screw it tight because you're gonna be shaking it afterwards. Now with this, you're gonna to want to blend it for about two minutes. Um, if you if your blender doesn't stay on and you, it only has a pulse set, setting, just hold it down for, for about two minutes and let it go. So as soon as this is all blended up, I will be back and we will go from there. Okay, so it's been about two minutes now, um, and if you noticed, um, there is about an inch of foam at the top. Um, and what you want to do is you want to blend it until you get about that much uh, foam at the top. And if you look around here, there's no large chunks. Of, uh, of luscious then you got a few little you got some bubbles and whatnot but for the most part um, it, everything is pretty uh, pretty mixed in so now because to make this it has to be kept cool uh, using a handheld blender like this works out really well because you can just take it off and I'm gonna go throw this in the fridge so while the lecithin is in the fridge cooling down, what I'm going to do is now it's time to mix your vitamin C crystals. So if you remember before, there's a one tablespoon of vitamin C crystals in here with a half a cup of water. You can see all the crystals at the bottom there. And what you're going to want to do, again, make sure this is on tight, and you're just going to shake it. However you want to shake it, doesn't really matter. Just shake it up as long as you get all the vitamin C crystals going. Like I said, it takes about a minute. Some people might take a little bit longer, some people might take a little bit less. It's really based really entirely on just on how you shake it. Um, now, if you notice, it's murky. Um, so it is actually starting to, to mix in, but you know, there's still a lot of crystals at the bottom. Uh, so what you're going to want, like I said, just keep on shaking it, keep on shaking it. So I've been shaking it for about a minute or two, and if you notice, it is completely clear now, and all of the crystals at the bottom have all been dissolved. Um, so because that's ready, I went to the fridge and I grabbed uh, my lecithin mixture out. Um, it is now much cooler to the touch uh, than, when it went, than when it went in. So I'm just going to pop the lid off of this, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add it. To your, ultras uh, to your ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, very important, make sure your ultrasonic cleaner is not on um, when, uh, when you add it in. Uh, and the easiest way um, with this one, this one has a nice little handy base or a little handy top that comes off. Um, if this is on and you plug it in, You will notice that the power goes on right away. Pull this off, power goes off. There are the uh, electrodes that go into the base. There is where they plug in. Do not get that wet. Do not get this wet. So, back on, and plug it so that it's actually off. Take your lecithin mixture, pour it into your cleaner, foam and all. Doesn't matter, it can all go in there. Then, take your vitamin C mixture, pour it in so they mix together, and you will notice that it goes up almost right to the fill line. It's almost right up to the fill line, and there's a tremendous amount of foam on top. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. Now, for stirring, you want to use a plastic straw. Um, don't use a metal spoon or anything like that because it is uh, because this uses um, electronic pulses. Um, pretty good chance you will start a fire. And don't use a wooden spoon because uh, wooden spoons are very porous. So what you will be doing is you'll not only will you be taking pulling some of the lecithin and vitamin C out of your mixture, but you will also be transferring any bacteria that is in there in your spoon into this mixture. Um, and you want this to be as clean as you possible as it possibly can. So now. With this ultrasonic cleaner, it has different power settings. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit, here's the power button, here's the timer button, here's the on-off button. You're going to want to take the power button, you want to press it twice until this display says three, that is maximum power. Then, you're going to want to take the timer button, it defaults to 180 seconds, press it until you see 480 seconds. What we're going to do is we're going to do three rounds of 480 seconds. Um, I'm going to start this up. After the first round, I'll show you the difference between how the foam looked when it started to how the foam looks then, and then I'll be back at the end. All right? Now, one thing I did want to show you, I just started. If you can see, if you look closely, you will see these little bubbles popping up from down below. And what that is, is that's the pulses coming up from the base. Um, you also can hear uh, what it sounds like an audible um, electronic sound coming to it. Um, as you move the luscious thin mixture around, um, you will notice that all of the bubbles that come towards the center, all the foam that comes towards the center, ends up breaking apart and dissipating. This is what you want to happen. Um, by the time you are done this, this should be completely smooth. There should be very, very little bubbles, uh, maybe a little bit around the edge, uh, but that's it. But for the most part, um, it should be um, it should be just a just a, a creamy looking mixture. Uh, that will let you know uh, the closer you get to that, the more encapsulation that you have. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. So we're coming to the end of the uh, uh, of the. Uh, the encapsulation process, um, and you'll notice that uh, how I'm stirring it. Uh, you have to stir this pretty constantly, um, and it says, uh, in everything I've read, it says to do gentle stirring. So what I basically took that as is about this pace. Um, now, because you have to stir it uh, constantly, and you're doing four rounds, three rounds, sorry, of 480 seconds, uh, your arm might get tired. Um, it uh, you may have something may come up and you may have to step away. You can step away from this for for a couple of seconds at a time to go do something else, get yourself a, dr a glass of water, whatever you want to do. Um, but if you're going to be stopping it for any length of time, um, what you what I would suggest doing is covering it and putting it in the fridge to keep it cool. Um, make sure that you cover it because if you don't, it will start to oxidize almost right away. So we've Finish the third round of 480 seconds, and if you notice inside, um, all of the bubbles have disappeared. Um, so this means that it is ready to go, and you are ready to transfer. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, before you take off the uh, the the container, unplug it so that the power is off. Now, pouring it out of here can be a, a little bit of a pain. There isn't much of a spout. There's a tiny indent in here. Um, so you stand at risk of uh, spilling a lot of it as you pour. So what I like to use is I like to use an oversized measuring cup. Um, that way it gives, leaves more room for error um, and uh, you have less wastage this way. So very easy. Just take the handle, lift it up, take your measuring cup, Pour it at a relatively rapid rate because you want to get it in there without spilling any. That's good. Then take the mason jar that you used to mix the vitamin C crystals in earlier. Transfer that back in. You'll notice that some bubbles reappeared when you were transferring from the ultrasonic cleaner to the measuring cup to the mason jar. That is perfectly fine. Um, one thing, one other thing that you will notice is because you were running electrical pulses through this liquid, it is actually a little bit warm to the touch. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cap it right away 
and put it in the fridge. What that will also help to do is it's not completely sealed, but when you put it in the fridge, the difference in the temperature as this cools down will actually suck this seal down a little bit, um, which means that will also help you preserve the, the, the lifespan of this. Um, there's different suggestions online um, as to how long this will be good for, uh, anywhere from three days to two weeks. Um, I would suggest no longer than three days, because um, at, at, at that point, you're not only are you losing strength, uh, with it, but you are also breeding um, bacteria and other things. So try and get it done as quickly as possible. Like I said, I wouldn't go more than three days. Okay, thank you. Just wanted to point out that when you are dumping this or cleaning this at the end, um, if you remember the two prongs that I showed you on the bottom here, when this is done, when you turn it off, this, this container still holds a charge. So more than once, when I would be pouring it in or I'd be cleaning it after, my finger would make contact with these two prongs and I would get a shock. Um, sometimes it was severe, sometimes it was mild. Point of advice, just keep your finger away from this and you won't have to worry about it. I just wanted to mention something about cleaning um, your, your devices that you're using to make the liposomal C. Um, <coughs> As with all blenders, it's really kind of hard to get it underneath there and clean uh, underneath the blades. And the thing about making liposomal C is because it's you're using the lecithin, which is a, a de-oiled uh, sunflower oil in powdered form, um, it really likes to stick underneath there. So what I found works really well if you're using um, a small little travel blender like this or a big blender, is you take a single drop of soap, put it in there, and put about an inch of water. Put the lid back on and just start pulsing it. You could even let it go. And as long as you only have about an inch of water in there, then it won't overflow and it really helps to clean underneath there to get that gunk so you don't have to stick your hand down in there and risk cutting yourself. In terms of cleaning your ultrasonic cleaner, this one's a little bit more involved. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, when you're done, take a, a, a dry paper towel and wipe out all the excess liquid. Then take some sort of a mild cleaner that you can make yourself something like a little bit of vinegar and water um, just to wipe out and break down all of the all of the rest of the fat in there and clean it out. Um, wipe it down with a dry paper towel after that and then what I like to do is I like to take um, a couple pieces of paper towel put some rubbing alcohol in it and just wipe the whole thing down front back um, don't do underneath don't do here this should never have gotten dirty anyways um, but all the all of the uh, all of the buttons and then all the inside um, and then just let it sit um, next time when I go to make it again I'll tell you do the exact same thing I'll take a little bit of rubbing alcohol put it on a paper towel wipe out the inside wipe out the edge and then I'll take another paper towel and I'll just shine it up and just to collect any of the extra um, alcohol that may still be there